Hey everyone, it's another Sunday, so here is my in my mailbox. I thought I would do another video because I got really good feedback last week from everyone. So I will show you what I got. We have Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. Um, this is the last installment of her Nightshade series and everyone has been raving about it for like the last month. So I think I'm actually going to sit down and read it this week. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the cover is really nice. Um, all the covers look like this. She has three in the series. So if you're looking for a really good trilogy to read, this is definitely a good one. Uh, we also have Keep Holding On by Susan Kolansky. Um, this one comes out in June 2012. Um, it is by Viking Publishing, and that is um, an installment group of Penguin USA. Um, this is a middle grade to young adult novel. It takes place in high school, so it should be really good. Um, and I'll let you know how it is. I also have No Safety in Numbers by Daniel Lorenz. Uh, this one's by Dial um, Publishing, which is also an installment of Penguin USA, and this one's out in May 2012. I'm not entirely sure what it's about yet. It kind of looks um, a little bit creepy because of the symbol on the front, and when you open it, it's just like a group of kids standing there. So <laughs> it should be good. It says, uh, Contagion meets Lord of the Flies in a mall that looks just like yours. So it says also when a biological bomb is discovered in the air ducts at a busy suburban mall, the entire complex is locked down and people start getting sick. Sick Supplies start running low and there's no way out. So it kind of sounds like one of those um, kind of like zombie horror movies. So we'll see how it is. I'll let you guys know. I also have Guilt by Catherine Longshore. This one is also by Viking Publishing and it's supposed to be out in May 2012. It's a historical young adult romance novel, I guess you can say. It takes place in King Henry VIII's court and it's actually about one of his queen's um, friends who moves to court with her when she marries him. And it's about her um, trials and uh, tribulations when she gets into the court life and about romance that happens as well. So there's going to be a lot of betrayal, a lot of lies, and of course a lot of romance. It is King Henry VIII's court after all. Um, so it should be really good and yeah it says May 15, 2012 so if you guys want a really good historical read definitely check this one out it's supposed to be really good. I also got Immortal City by Scott Spears it comes out April 2012 it is supposed to be really good. I think I'm also going to start this one this week. I haven't read a really good um, angel book since probably Becca Fitzpatrick's Hush Hush series. Um, this one is about a city um, that knows angels exist and basically worship them. So it's about a girl who also um, doesn't see the hype of angels and actually thinks that this one angel is arrogant and doesn't like him at all. And He's hell-bent on making her like him and protecting her and all this other stuff. So it should be really good. It should be um, a really good young adult read as well. So I'll definitely let you guys know what I think of this one as well. This one is by Razorbill and on sale April 2012. So it's not a long wait. So that's basically all I got from Penguin um, from when I visited them. I also bought some books this week, so I'll show you guys those as well. Um, in lieu of Valentine's Day in February, I always buy a ton of romance novels. So I decided to pick up three more this week by Karen Marie Mooning. She writes two series, um, Fever series and the Highlander series. So I picked up three from her Highlander series. I got uh, The Highlander's Touch uh, by Karen Marie Mooning. This one, it takes place in Scotland, obviously all of them do, and it's about a girl who gets thrown back 700 years in time, um, basically landing in the room of the castle's lord, or they call them lard, and it's about her story of how she needs to get back home and how he's falling in love with her, so it was a really good read. I read it in one sitting yesterday. It's a really touching romance story, um, so it, should, it is um, really good. Uh, we also have To Tame Highland Warrior. I haven't read this one yet. Um, I actually have no idea what it's about. I just kind of picked it up off the shelf. <laughs> um, but it's another romance novel. Um, it takes place about um, basically um, 
Highland uh, warrior, a soldier this time, and his name is Grim, and he's trying to win over the heart of one of his um, younger crushes, I guess you can say. Um, so we'll see how this one is, and I'll let you guys know. And last but not least, a spell of the Highlander. I'm going to start this one today. It's supposed to be really good. It um, is about a history student. So, yay for history. Um, and she is basically um, cataloging artifacts, and she looks into a mirror and sees a guy just standing there. So it's about how they um, interact and how they fall in love, of course. And I think she gets thrown back to his time, so we'll have to see. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, a lot of her stories are about time travel and history and obviously Scotland. So they're really good. And if you're into that sort of romance, then I definitely suggest her. And that's all I got this week for in my mailbox. I hope you guys had a great week in books and I'll see you next time. Bye.